Hey guys, good afternoon FitFam. We are live on location at Charlie's Restaurant and Lounge. If you're craving a fine dining experience in Winnipeg, then look no further because Charlie's features classic and contemporary dishes in a rich dining atmosphere while always ensuring to keeping it fresh and appetizing. They offer a wide selection of all your favorite dishes from pasta to pierogies to Asian inspired plates. At Charlie's Restaurant and Lounge, they know that everyone has different cravings which is why their menu is so wide to accommodate everyone's appetites. Let's go inside and meet Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hi, guys. Hey. Welcome to the kitchen. Thanks for having us here. Wow. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay. So. What are we doing today, Charlie? Uh, well, we're going to be working beside Tia Rose right here because she's got an order up. Hi there. No worries. So we're going to be making a casino burger and a kare kare rice bowl. Okay? okay. So for our viewers, what is a casino burger exactly? A casino burger, well, casino is a, uh, it's a popular Filipino breakfast meat. Okay. And um, it's pretty much a cured sweet pork that we marinate. Mm -hmm. And and now we just use that. Normally it's eaten with like rice and eggs. Right, so right. So we transformed that, made a little Canadian, and we threw it inside of a bun with an egg. Okay, okay. so you, you Canadianized the Filipino so, meat into yes. a burger. Yes, exactly. It's funny you say that because my son loves to see an right? Right. But um, like, I don't know how to call, he doesn't like to eat meat, so I call him, it's candy chicken. Okay, so exactly. So he eats this candy exactly. chicken, thinking it's candy, but it's just a casino. <laughs> right, right, right. So that's it. And then now we put inside of bread, which I'm sure they do. Yeah. And yeah, it's one of our popular burgers here. Mm hmm. And yeah, there's a big line that's coming out with it that we introduced with the Chance Food Truck. Okay. So I'm going to get the bun ready and I'm going to get the meat. The meat's right over here. It's already portioned. It's already portioned and half cooked. We're just going to finish it off and caramelize it a little bit more. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to cover it up a little bit. And is this a breakfast burger or is this a burger that you can have anytime? It's a burger that you can have anytime. Mm. Anytime. So I'm gonna get while I get that going, I mean she's got a she's got a grilled cheese right over here. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. So Charlie, how, when did you guys start um, your business? How was this established? Uh this was established in two thousand and six. Okay. So fourteen years ago. And and we opened in December, actually, 2006. Okay. Because being um, a chef wasn't your first dream, is that correct? It, well, it wasn't actually my first dream. It just kind of like fell into my lap. Mm -hmm. um, so I just kind of rolled with it and I haven't stopped ever since. And everything has just kind of fell into place, actually, with, you know, the food truck, expansion of the lounge. And so, how did you get into it? I mean, what was your first choice if it wasn't opening up a yeah, restaurant? You know what? I didn't really know. You didn't I didn't know. really know what I was gonna do, so I just know I love to cook mm -hmm. or I love food. Yeah, I love food. Well, who doesn't love food, exactly. right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I love food. I love being creative. I love working with my hands. Yes. And then you know, you meet some people, the right people, and mm -hmm. then things just like fall into place. Okay. Yeah, and you jumped my, at it. Yeah, I jumped at it. You know, my family is a bunch of cooks too. Okay. My cousin, my auntie, my father—they're all great cooks. So it was kind of, it was kind of just kind of fell into part, right? Right. Okay. So, so I'm gonna get the bun ready and I'm gonna get the vegetables ready for the kare kare Hey rice Mark, bowl. thanks for tuning in. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, let me know. And if you've been to Charlie's, I'd like to hear what is your favorite dish and let Charlie know as well. <laughs> so we're gonna make the kare kare rice bowl. And it's pretty simple. We made it pretty, pretty eater friendly. So okay. normally it's made with oxtail and it's a peanut butter sauce. And the vegetable that's inside of it is green beans, long beans, and eggplant. You could throw anything really. You could throw bok choy or broccoli. So we just kept it simple with this. Is this a Filipino inspired dish as well? This is a Filipino dish, Got very it. traditional. Okay. Very traditional comfort dish that we're going to show or try to we're trying to, you know, bring it out to the public, right? Okay, you know what? I've never actually tried no? a kare kare. I've always heard about it, <laughs> never tried it. Well, today we'll be Today it's, it's good? It's good. Okay, well, I'm in luck. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just cover these in the blanche or steam them up a little bit. Okay. 
look at that. Okay. And then we have our, we don't use oxtail, we use a short rib. Mm -hmm. And then it's already pre-cooked as well. Okay. And I'm going to heat that guy up too. Hey guys, if you're online, drop by and say hi. I'd like to hear from you. This. Oh, and Harley, you also have a food truck too, is that correct? Yes, yes, we have a food truck. Uh, it's called Chance Food Truck. That was launched. When was that launched? That was launched 2018, 2019. Oh, and just yeah, recently. Yeah, just recently. Okay. Just recently, and and the the concept of that food truck is more Filipino Canadian, right? So just because I use the I used inspiration from the casino burger. We carried it on the truck, right? Mm -hmm. It's part of the Filipino food movement, right? Right, right. That I think that it, you know, food has evolved so much that that we can take it to other places, you know, new levels. Exactly. Right? Yes. What do we have there, Charles? We have garlic fried rice. Okay? Oh, garlic fried we rice. Have garlic fried rice. Okay, it's already made. It's already steaming. Okay. So I'm going to. I love garlic fried rice. Yes. So yes. Good. Okay. So the garlic fried rice we have ready, and then we have our peanut sauce, our kare kare sauce, here already. Okay. What's inside the sauce? Inside the sauce, it's going to be peanut butter, it's like a beef stock base. Okay. There's something called a suete, uh, a natto seeds, that gives it the color, some flavor. And yeah, it's really rich, really, Charlie. Rich, really tasty, really Charlie, savory. we have 40 viewers we online. We have 40 viewers, hello, wow. hello, all hey guys. <laughs> My timing. My timing is oh, it's here. perfect, okay. yeah. So, I have an eggplant, that's good. I think I'm going to start. Yeah. I think that's going to be okay. That's going to be okay? We're going to be okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to grab a plate somewhere. If sure. You, you can grab me a plate on oh, that yeah. side. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me Thank help you. you. Of course, you. absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, because of COVID, we're not using any plates right now. All right. So that's why everything's takeout and takeout. So, you know, all the plates are hiding. Well, I'm your sous chef today, Charlie. <laughs> Thank so you. if Thank you need you. any help, Great let help. me know. Great help. I know COVID is just uh, unbelievable these days, right? But it is. It's so it is what it gotta, is. You just got to roll with it. Exactly. Right? Roll with you know, it. And you just know. keep busy, right? And things are only temporary. Exactly. Things will pass. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Just got to make a lot of lemonade right now. Yes, exactly. So right now we have the Ticino burger. It's a banana bar, or it's it's uh, banana ketchup. But okay, what is banana ketchup? I always banana hear about ketchup, it. Banana ketchup. It's a it's a popular <laughs> it's a popular. It's a popular, sauce. Yeah. Okay, it's but like a is, condiment, right? is there actual bananas in it, or is I, it I, a banana I, pepper? I'm not exactly. It's, it's I think there's actually banana in it. What? It's, it might be artificial or something. Oh, there's bananas. Yeah. And then we just mix it with a little mayonnaise. So that's oh. the sauce. Okay. Secrets out. Okay. okay. Secrets <laughs> out. Oh, sorry, John. <laughs> that's fine. There's more where that came there's from. There's more where that came from. Okay. So we're just gonna put some lettuce. What kind of bun is this? This is a brioche bun. Mmm. Looks good. So it's an egg bun. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put some pickles on this bad boy. Yummy. And then we're going to put the meat. We're just going to grab the meat right behind you here, Mary. And you're going to put the finishing oh, touch. Oh, let okay? me do it. Yeah. It's the most important role. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we'll do it together. We'll do it together. Okay, okay. Jerome, yeah. I want you to catch this, okay? <laughs> so, here, I'll help you. You'll help me? Yeah, okay. So if you want to just take it over and oh. I'm going to slide it. I'm going to like it. Now, pull it out. There we go. Boom. Teamwork. Boom. Okay, wow. there we go. So that's our Tocino burger. Perfectly cooked egg as well. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so hungry. Okay, so now the kare kare okay. rice bowl. Yes, rice and we're bowl. we're just going to add the beef on top. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna. You wanna help me? You wanna grab? Yes, the beef? yes. Okay, I'm so. Just lift that guy up. I don't need gloves, right? I'm good. No, you're okay. Good. You're good. Do I have to flip it? No, no. You can just put it right on top. Boom. Great. Are you okay. lefty? Are you I'm lefty? a lefty. No, are you a lefty? No, no, I'm good. I'm, oh, uh, I thought I'm, you were a lefty. I'm righty. Oh, Beautiful. That's great. No, let's not waste the meat. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll help. There. You. Boom. That is beautiful. 
Okay, then I'm going to put some of these beans on top. And then our eggplant. Got that, Jerome? Look at that. Yeah. Look at all that color. Yes. So now, the PS resistance is our bagaong. Bagaong is a shrimp paste. A shrimp paste? Okay. Yes. Wait, how do you say it? Bagaong. 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 Baga. Baga. Ong. Ong. I don't know. Did I say it right? Is that yeah. right? Bagaong. Bagaong. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I think it sounds right. Right. It's a fermented shrimp paste. Right. really salty. Mm -hmm. A little fishy, yes. Mm -hmm. So what we did with this, we actually infused some chili peppers. Yes. And some lime. So Just, this is house made? Yes. Oh, wow. Very much. And then, so we fuse it together to give it some more levels. And we shake it up because it's like an oil. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to put a little bit on top. What a beautiful dish. All that color. Wow. Okay. And then we're going to put a little bit of green onions. And some fried garlic and onions. Beauty. And this is called the kare kare. Kare kare rice bowl, exactly. Beautiful. That's beautiful. You got the. I think I said it right. Those, <laughs> you rolled those bars really well. Okay, okay, so that's it. We'll go to the front and we'll see what Brindley and Teresa are making over there. Oh, okay. Hey, ladies. Hi. 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 I'm told we're making a drink today, right? Yes, yeah, we are. We're making three for oh, you. Oh, three drinks. First one's gonna be the mango pineapple. Hollow. A mango pineapple. Hollow. Hollow. Okay. Yes. And what's what's a hollow? What does that mean? Teresa. It means mix. It means mix. Okay. You know what? I've always yeah. heard of the word hollow, hollow, but I didn't actually know what it meant. Right. So it means, it means a mix. mix. Okay. Good to know. Help me prep the cup for the hollow hollow, the first one? Right. Yeah, yeah, of course. So the mango pineapple is going to take two scoops of the mango. Two scoops? Okay. One, two. Perfect. And what is this again? This is the mango pineapple oh, mix. Oh, mango the pineapple yeah. mix. Okay. I'll pull this one over here. If you guys have had Charlie's drinks, I would like to know what is your favorite drink. Please comment below. There, you gotta taste that right away. I have to taste. Okay, I'm told I have to taste this. Well, these three are for you guys. There we go. Teresa, I'm just gonna top this off. Oh, top it off. Okay, so what's this? So this is sago, tapioca pearls. Sago, okay. Tapioca pearls. Yeah. I love tapioca, so good. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Can we top that off with the vanilla ice cream? No, are you yeah. serious? A it's drink a and then ice cream? Oh my goodness. And dessert, right? All together. How much ube on mine? <laughs> oh, you, okay. we're making an ube one. Oh, we're making an ube one. one. Yeah. And then the pineapple on top. And then the special toasted pinny pig right on top of it. What is that on top? It's pinny pig, so it's toasted rice. Oh, toasted from rice Philippines. from yes. the Philippines. Oh, wow. Is this a Filipino-inspired drink as well? It is, it is. Yummy. And then that, so that's the um, mango pineapple right there. Oh, it looks oh, delicious. The yeah, the ube. <laughs> so, you know, ube is actually one of my favorite foods, I guess. Like, I love anything ube, ube cake. It's called the purple cake, ube ice cream. Nice. So, I'm looking what forward to you, this. Would you like to press the ube? Talk yes, of course. So this one's just going to take two ounces of the coconut there. Okay. Are you guys hiring? Because I would love to work here. <laughs> For sure. And what do we have here? This is going to be the ube. Okay. Yes. What is your favorite drink? I'm not going to lie, it's going to be the ube. Oh, well. of course, yeah. <laughs> it's a hit. It is a hit. Well, what is the most popular drink here? Um, I would say between the mango pineapple and the ube. Mango and ube. Yeah. Good to know. So we made you uh, the two most popular. The two most popular. Because <laughs> who doesn't like ube, right? I know. Who does not like it? I actually, okay, so a true story. I made um, 
I tried to make an ube bubble tea yesterday. I don't think it was very good. <laughs> I drank it, and you know, RJ drank it too. The kids drank it. They didn't say it was delicious, but <laughs> I don't think it was a success. And then this one is going to have it. the sago. Yeah. More sago, okay. Sago and then ice cream, right? Yeah. Yep. Ube ice cream. Oh, that's like purple ice cream right here. Yeah. On top there. You know, I always see these drinks on Instagram, so I've always, I've never tried them, but oh, nice I was well. thinking about it actually last night. Can you top that off with the macapuno? Macapuno, and what is yeah. macapuno? It's a coconut. Oh, it's coconut. Yeah. Sugar-coated coconut. Sugar-coated coconut, and more toasted rice. Right, for sure. And that's it. Those are oh, that yeah. And the last one is going to be the holo holo. Oh, the holo holo. Okay, so this... So for our viewers that aren't aware what a hollow hollow is, can you guys explain what that is? Yeah, can you, can you guys tell us? Yeah. So hollow hollow means mix mix. Right, mix right. mix. It's uh, traditionally a desert, like a shredded ice dessert. Okay. We've turned it in, this is our version, we've turned it into a drink. Okay. Yeah. So this one is going to be totally mix. full here. So hollow. we're going to put one ounce of this. And what is this? Okay. Perfect, but we're going to try and shape it so when we make the drink, we see everything at the bottom, okay? Oh, I see. So then we'll put this one here on the side. Oh, okay. And then we're also going to take the bean here, so you can put that on the side as well. Okay. Perfect. Oh. Okay. And then, Teresa, the last one? Yeah, and then the banana lanka. So that's the, the Filipino small banana and jackfruit. Okay. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> That's a mix mix. Yeah, exactly. That's Put some more. Put some more? <laughs> we want some more, but a little uh, bit more. There. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we need? Uh, then it's the, the next slush and then Oh, okay. And what is the slush? Uh, this is just our cream based. Um, Hello slush. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess normally so it's it's, it's, it's the normally, ice. Yeah, shaved ice and then it's condensed milk. Got it. We just turned it into a cream-based slush. Condensed milk slush also. You'll be a pro by the end of this. Oh, I think I'm. A, <laughs> oh yeah, I'll be a great tester for sure. Anytime we need help, we're calling you. Call yeah. me, please. Yeah. Or hire. I can I can be found at Fit Club. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Then it's the same. Oh. More to go. Yeah. I think I got it now. More so go and then ice cream. Ice cream. Got yeah. it. This one has the ube ice cream. Yeah. And then the strings again. Oh, right. The coconut. Yeah. There we go. There you go. And then the TV bag. More toasted rice. Yep. That added texture. There you go, all three for you. Okay, guys. so just to recap, so this is our hollow hollow. This is our mango pineapple drink. And then this is our uh, ube, ube. Yeah. ube drink. Yeah. Well, thanks guys. Thank you guys for You're showing welcome. us all these drinks. Sure. Thanks guys for tuning in. Thank I hope you, you guys had a great time. Where's Charlie? Yeah, Charlie's right there on the right here. Oh, <laughs> taking orders. He's, he's, taking, working, he's yeah. busy taking orders. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, he's really busy taking orders. So if you guys need some some food for tonight, make sure to call Ch Charlie's. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week. Bye now. Bye guys. Two. Good. How